Welcome everyone, Scramble here from Emotions Crypto Trading. As usually, we're going to talk about Ethereum's price analysis and technical details from the data standpoint. I'm a professional trader since 2014, and the most important thing I listen is the data. Most of the time, I don't do what I personally enjoy or want within the markets, but more likely what the data is communicating with me. So on the long term, we're successful to survive the losses and be profitable on the long run, which is the main um, objective and target of a trader. So here we are, guys. Make sure in the meantime to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay in touch with the other type of videos that I'm posting, including the ones where I'm sharing with you my trades. So getting back to our current situation, well, it's been a very interesting 24 hours where the markets have recovered. And the first question that comes through my mind is going to be, is this a trend changing sort of a movement or it is happening within the same trend that we've been through for the past weeks? So the first question that we would like to ask ourselves before we talk about 1 million bucks for the BTC and $100,000 for the Ethereum, before we get emotional around the prices, before we get in love with our portfolio, we need to make sure we look at the markets from the rational side and ask ourselves the most important questions in order to eliminate the mistake, guys. Because we have so many ways to do this and that's being taught in my coaching program. As a trader, you need to know how to eliminate the possible mistakes you can do. And trust me, out of 100 opportunities, 95 of them represent mistakes for you. So you need to eliminate all those guys, remain with the top five and select the best out of it. That's how trading works, actually. And this is a process which first I would categorize it as a strongly and comprehensively mental. And then afterwards in the technicals. And on the last level is the financial side. So these are the three major pillars that are needing to be sort of a way controlling them very well in order to be successful again on the long term because short term speaks nothing. It's definitely nothing short term. What about Ethereum guys? Well, like I said, we do have a green day, but the question is, is this a reversal in the trend or it's just a continuation of the trend? Both situations are fully different and they necessitates from us to be acting totally differently from now and going. So we need to look into the details and I'll grab the daily candlesticks for that. What we have here is a very interesting situation because we did have this green line, which is uptrending, as you can see. That's the uptrending channel support line. This has been with us since 19th of July, and it's still surviving. We didn't broke below this, yet we have tried many, many times, as you can see here, right under the green line. There is a bunch of sort of away long tails or wicks. Those rejections represent a strong bullish pressure which has been accumulating around the market that didn't permit charts and price to close under the green line. What happens if you close under the green line on a daily candle? Well, it's clearly breaking below and the support is getting lost. Now, in order to fully throw yourself into a short from there, you definitely need a confirmation of that. But at the end of the day, even in that form, it's going to decrease the confidence level of the people if that happens, which didn't happen. And if you zoom into a little bit, you'll see there are so many wicks over there, about six in number, that have been fully denied. And this is very interesting, guys, because there is clearly an accumulation going on over there, a sort of a building up into longs going out at that level. Finally, there is a decent support on the green line, which is, you know, reacting today. And it's definitely squeezing out some shorts, which is beautiful. Now, for me, 
I need a lot more data for me to be convinced because I need to see major domination. It is not sufficient to see a reaction. And these are the two different concepts I'm teaching people in my coaching program between domination and reaction. Make sure for those of you interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me to register now and I'll get back to you on your email. Feel free to check out the website and see how it works. But we're going to talk about that at the end. So we have the significant resistance zone, which has to be flipped. That level has to be flipped in order for us to talk about, you know, $6,000, $7,000, $8,000. If we don't flip that, it is an issue. Why do we have to flip that? And it's not sufficient for us to basically spike right now in a crazy way up to $5,000, which would represent, you know, probably about 20%, a little more than 20%, right? You know, about 24% and then you know survive at that level no there are certain levels in the markets that have to be retested confirmed and transform the sort of way institutional and professional traders into full bullishness by proven data a green day on the charts is not sufficient guys the whole structure as a complex has to be following the same direction. It's not enough a single candle, guys. It's not enough to have two or three candles. They do have to mean that. Because it's possible to have a green candle and to be a bearish one. It's possible to be having a red candle and to be bullish. It's definitely possible and it happens in so many times. Because it's a structure, guys, and it, what do they mean? Other than the color, there is a whole lot of the mechanism behind it so uh you know the level you see here as a zone you know this this thing right here between the two blue lines that are horizontal has to be flipped for bullishness which means you got to break out come back and double verify it you need to double verify that uh, you can verify for once confirm and spike which is also a great thing but then I would be afraid of a double or triple top structure. If we get a double verification, the triple triple top structure is going to be excluded. So that's the thing. Now, if the green line is getting lost, I'm going to short at the time we revisit the green line. So retest of that. Now, you know, I put together here some very interesting levels and I'd like to share with you something very important, guys. This thing discusses about the liquidity grabbing process. Liquidity grabbing process is extremely important. It does needs to happen in order to uh, have the whales and exchanges profitable. So we are printing shadows like this. They are extremely, extremely similar. What do we have to know and understand is every single time we had a massive shadow, a long wick like that, in the game we have revisited or across that which is something that didn't happen at this time as you can see guys it did not happen and that's something that makes me worry about the case so we have revisited the shadow and touched it over here and we did a double revisit, which is max bullishness. Just look, you can see the daily candle reaction afterwards has been massive. So I would have preferred during the weeks we had here to revisit the shadow or get extremely, extremely near to it, just two or three dollars away as a distance, which would have fit the theory and sort of a way move up afterwards. Now, that's why I'm, you know, pretty scared in this position. You know, take a look at that. Till, till we went up massively, we needed 59 days once the crash has happened. 59 days would be 1st of February within the same situation at this time. So since 4th of December till 1st of February. As you can see, we were able to go upwards afterwards and then revisit go upwards again revisit so i'm not going to get too enthusiastic about you know certain levels uh, above as soon as 
we're not gonna have a clear confirmation above the two blue lines or touches on the end of the wick which is 3578 so myself you know if I want to get into a swing trade which I'm gonna let for two months of a long or something like that I definitely need proper data to do that so scalpings of longs that are done quite frequently and that's where we can benefit you know great money a couple of tens of thousands of dollars in a trade this is pretty easy if the portfolio is in the range of uh, millions or tens of millions now the th story is if you want to make 10 15 million dollars in a trade you need to swing it or position it which needs you to make sure before you grab and join in such a trade that the whole structure is fully bullish I don't need to join too early and risk myself. There is no reason to do that. I don't need to risk in any form at early stages of a reversal point till the time it's getting confirmed, guys. And that's basically uh, in many forms and ways how a trader does it. You definitely want to exclude your possible losses. And how do you do that? Well, you don't do enter and you cannot trade in situations which are not fully confirmed even if the possibility and the domination seems like to be going up you cannot because there are still big chances as you saw in the previous structure here to be revisiting the lows now the current situation is that the support line that is green is going to be lost at the time we revisit those lows and that's not also a great thing so there is a mixture here of signals and printings that are happening which We'll have to be very careful, guys. So that's pretty much where we are with the daily. And this is what we have to do. Going forward to the four hour candlesticks in a very interesting way, we broke out of the resistance here. We broke out of resistance. So if it's to retouch the green line, I'm definitely looking for the confirmation and a market rebalancing from there pretty nicely. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, there's nothing else, you know, special here. I mean, we are sitting on a strong, significant level of support. We're sitting on a very impressive level here around $4,000. If we can transform this, then we can advance towards the next ones and deal with them. So that's where we are at the moment, guys. We're in a pretty, pretty interesting situation across the whole market. For those of you looking to find out more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching, make sure to Watch the video and register now. It's a video which has been recorded like, you know, the last year or so. And, you know, we can get in touch on a conversation, a little conversation. This is a intensive private coaching for anyone out there looking to transform their life and become traders. Whatever they do want to do this full time or, you know, sort of a way, just uh, partially of their schedule. Now, I also do full trading done for you, which means that the trades that I execute myself for myself, I can execute for you as well through API connection. Feel free to check out the trades that I've done here with all the numbers and things like that. And I'll get back to you on your email. So have a beautiful time, guys, and make sure you sit up away. Have a good time around the, you know, Christmas, holidays, New Year's Eve whatever is out there for you and whatever you value make sure to sit if we enjoy these times i'm gonna post some more videos as well and 2022 is gonna be a year of amazing movements so if you're asking me about cryptocurrency well bitcoin is gonna surpass a hundred thousand dollars and ethereum has to surpass ten thousand dollars as well 2022 has to move within the first part of the year so within the first six months extremely well within the last six months of the year i'm expecting to be shorting the markets massively and triple the earnings that i've made within the first part of the year so if i make 500 percent, i'm looking for making 1500 within the second part of the year this is extremely important so that's where we are at the moment with the whole picture guys make sure you Sort of a way, reach out to me if you think that we can build something together and have a beautiful time out there. We'll talk to you soon.